was a regular productive day here. And you know, the container was being unpacked, cars were being tainted, and they just heard low commotion, which is normal at Black Rock, probably another accident. So I just put my stuff one side and came out looking towards the road. I realized the commotion was coming from the container. As I went to the container, see what's going on, see where I can assist. I realized one of the guys, a one of the guys were cut, I was losing a lot of blood. And then one of the guys were partially buried in the glass. As we went to try to assist, another sheet of glass came and fell on him as he was hollering, screaming. And then we didn't hear nothing from him anymore from there. Um, as neighbors around the area came to assist, we contacted the police, the fire department, and the ambulance. And they were here readily. And because of those guys, they're pretty sure we have two people that can live to see another day. Um, the fire service came on site and they did their job um, as professionally as it could possibly witness. Uh, with that also being said, fortunately enough, the blessings of God, we had a nurse also in the fifth, fifth in the vicinity. So she uh, assists one of the guys that was wounded by stopping from losing a lot of blood because he was definitely losing a lot of blood. And the other guy that was in the container, um, fire service, um, handle that issue as best as it possibly could. So you said there were one guy who had was actually severed? Not severed per se, but a very massive gosh, loss a lot of blood. Even if you just go around the car and you can see a very big pool as we start the bleeding with multiple types of garments. People even take off their shirts to start the blood from leaving his body rapidly. You know the ages of the two men? No, please. How long were they working at the company? Um, guys come to unpack the containers basically. 